Hi guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about the folkloric rudimental drumming of Bajo Aragon in Spain. And this is a distinct tradition from the Spanish military style, um, but it is still a rudimental drumming style in that it uses clear rudimental elements like every other rudimental drumming style. Normally when we think about rudimental drumming we think about marching band or drum corps or military signaling in the old days, uh, ancient drumming. And this isn't any of that. It's folk drumming, but it's still rudimental. And Europe has a few traditions like this. Um, one of them is in Belgium, in the La Entre Sombre at Meuse region, and another one is in Norway, where they've taken the idea of military or marching style drumming, and they've used it for, in this case, a religious procession route. Um, and uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know a ton about it. I do have a new book coming out in November with Mel Bay called Rudimental Grand Tour, where I'm going to have 22 different rudimental traditions represented. This is not one of them because I didn't quite know enough about it to intelligently include it in the book, and I learned about it well, pretty much too late to really shoehorn it into the book. So we're just going to talk about it today. So we'll just talk about a few of the rudiments they use. Uh, these are not the same rudiment names, and for the most part, not exactly the same rudiments that they use in the Spanish military style, which would surround this whole region. Um, but it, this is, of course, completely different. The first one is very familiar. It is the flam or the moriente de una nota. And they always play it this way. Um, then there is a flam accent or a tresillos de corcheas con morientes. It's really like a same hand flam accent because it's always going in the same direction. They also have a flam accent combination which has like a little shuffle in the beginning. And they have rolls, just like every rudimental style. Uh, the ones that they specifically name are the Redoble de Negro, which is a nine-stroke roll. The Redoble de Negra con Puntillo, which is a 13-stroke roll. And the 17-stroke roll is the Redoble de Blanca. And of course, they're just talking about the note heads. They're black for the filled-in notes, the quarter notes, and they're white for the open note, the half note. Sort of makes sense. Um, they also have an accented roll, a redoble legato, accentado de negra, which is actually sort of the same thing as the redoble de ataque in uh, Mexico, but probably not directly related. And they have um, a dotted eighth flam roll combo thing that has a super huge name that I won't even try to say, but it's like something like that. And they also have stick clicks, or baqueta, contra baqueta, and they have stick shots written into the music, baqueta, contra baqueta, pera, apoyada, and el parche. My Spanish is pretty terrible, but that just means a stick on stick hit on the head. It's a stick shot. Okay, so I've also observed in the pieces of music that they have more rudiments. They have long rolls that just keep going for multiple measures. They have the five stroke roll that's pretty clear and obvious. Um, they have single strokes, of course. They have a named thing that doesn't appear in the rudiment list, though. It's a redoble de dos semicrocheas, um, which is a really, really fast five-stroke roll on, like, a sixteenth note. Like, a really just sort of jamming it in there. And then they have closed rolls, which I don't know exactly how these fit into the pieces, because I don't see any indication of them. Uh, again, I don't know everything about the style, but they call those uh, los rufeos. So, uh, that is like 11 official rudiments, maybe 16 if you uh, count the ones that are obvious but they just don't really have a name or they aren't in the rudiment list. So in this style there are a few standard pieces and there are a bunch of different towns or sort of areas of Bajo Aragon that have the same pieces but they play them a different way. So when you talk about what piece you're playing, it's always got to be like, you say the name of it and then which version you're really talking about, like from what area. So I'm going to play real quick, it's real short, uh, La Jota, which this one is from Albalate del Arso Bispo, which sounds like this. And it just repeats for a while. Um, the other interesting thing about this style that I have trouble representing here is that they not only have a snare drum, 
but they also have what they call a bombo, which is kind of like a bass drum, but it's not really, because a lot of them actually have snare wires on them. It is just a much bigger snare drum, and of course it is much lower pitched, like a marching bass drum. But it's like, imagine that you had like an old school Scotch bass drum, the kind of thin, tall ones, but that you put a set of snare wires on it. That's what some of the people use as a bombo. And the, of course the part is much simpler, um, and like, so the bombo part to the same piece is just, where you're just sort of playing the accents. So in contrast here, I'm going to play you La Jota again, but this time from La Puebla. It's a little bit different, but you'll see some resemblance. So that's sort of all that I know about this style of drumming, which is not that much. Um, but at least we can sort of hear what it sounds like, look at some of the rudiments that they use. One last sort of interesting thing about this style is that they actually like to use snare drums that are much like pipe band snare drums in that they have snares on the top batter head as well as the resonant head. That is a feature that I don't really see in any other type of drumming. Um, I used to think it was completely specific to pipe band, you know, Scottish style drumming, but it's not. This uh, really specific Spanish style also has the double strainer, you know, two sets of snare wire drums. They're different drums, they're not quite tuned as high, um, and the snares are constructed in a different way. But it's interesting that they also have um, that crisper, more uh, distinct double snare wire sound. So, um, parallels and interesting, you know, I don't know, coincidences across the rudimental world. Okay, that's it for Bajo Aragon. So, uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and talk to you guys next time. Thanks.